Okay, so I just finished uh, doing something very similar to the workout I prescribed for everybody. Um, and definitely the muscles worked really hard, so it's time to put them in their longest position and get them to stretch out and relax a little bit. So we're going to hold stretches 30 seconds, um, starting from the prime mover of the hips. So we're going to start with the world's greatest stretch, which is both hands down, no rotation. But we will have to hold this position up. And again, we're trying to get our hip on this side as long as possible. Put a stretch through the midsection, through the groin. Just inhale and breathe. So if it's an easy run type of day where you've utilized a little bit of a reduced stride length, you want to prep the body for the next day, get the midsection to loosen up, the time of running fast in the workout on the day following. So world's greatest stretch will start us off. We're going to do both of these twice, but I'm going to demonstrate all of these just one time. Inhale and breathe. Heart rate should be just slowly decreasing. Feel the good stretch through the middle area. Both hands flat on the ground. Okay, moving on. Going up. Back to kneeling hip flexor. So this is where we're going to put our toe away this time. We really want to get separated as far as possible. Toe to knee, that creates the length. So it gives us a chance to stretch out the shin as well as the hip flexor and quad. Remember, come from the hip forward. Don't bend chest to knee. Again, you'll want to repeat each one of these stretches twice. Second time around, your body will start to understand that you're really trying to relax now. You're not using this as a workout. Again, point that back toe away. Create distance from knee to toe. And then we want to try to get that length across from knee all the way to the other knee. Get them as far apart as possible. This is where it also helps to have the mobility in the ankle, mobility in the hip. So the better your movers through those joints, the better these stretches are going to get. And that's how these kind of go together. Okay, moving past the hip. We're going to pull for our glutes. Knee to chest. And you want to angle that knee to the outside shoulder. So we're fully focusing on creating length up and around the tailbone, getting those glutes as long as possible. This would be like if we were in a deep squat, but just on one side. So we do do this as a partner stretch. But right now you're just going to do your best you can. Point the other toe away, other side. Keep the down leg as straight as you can. It's a false sense of flexibility. You can easily get your knee up closer to the shoulder if you bend this down leg, so keep it nice and straight. And again, that'll tell you how tight you are through the hip. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. Pull a little deeper. Good. Again, you're going to do those twice, two times in a row. We're going to go to flying figure four. So we're going to put foot on knee, wrap it underneath, and this is a figure four. Roll back and hold, stretching the gluteus medius, outer hip, 
TFL. So if you've had IT band injuries, this is a recommended stretch. Standing on your back, seated. Okay, good. Other side. So put an ankle on knee. Raise leg up. 90 degrees. Roll back and hold. And breathe and relax. Remember, we're trying to tell the body we're done. Just trying to restore or improve flexibility after exercise. So we started down, we started at the hip and we're working our way down. We move through the hips into our hip flexor. Line figure four, we're gonna go under the inner thigh, butterfly, feet together, flat back, push outwards, look straight up, create separation between knees. Last one, just lying solo stretch. We're going to keep one leg straight with a bent knee and pull that toe straight. So with the bent knee, we get a chance to stretch our soleus. And oftentimes, that's going to be the muscle that's going to get strained first when we start running. So um, we want to make sure we restore its length if we've been overusing it until we get it a little bit stronger through those strength-based exercises. The soleus is our second heart muscle. It's responsible for blood flow back to the heart. So the stronger we actually get it, the faster we're gonna run, because it's gonna return heart, blood back to the heart faster. So remember we started with our, isop, or our joint mobility, making sure all the nuts and bolts that all the important parts are connected correctly, they move around correctly into our range of motion. It's making sure that we can move things through the desired range of motion. There's not limit, we're not rusty. And then into our strength, which is kind of the loads. Say we loaded up our trunk or our car, or piled all our friends in. Wanna make sure we can still do everything Go as fast as you'd like, even with the extra load or the extra speed. Okay, and that is it. So make sure you repeat each one of those two times in a row um, to start off with. Later you'll see that we'll recycle through, but right now we want to make sure that those muscles, if we've used them, get a chance to relax. If we kind of cycle back around, they don't really quite know what we're doing, but we'll get better at stretching later and you're getting more in tune with your body. So right now just make sure you go through that series repeat each stretch two times in a row. And it's in the plan too, so. That's our post-run restorative stretch. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.